What's good, Melanin Warriors? I'm talking about an incredible tale of a warrior the great this time, man. The warrior king of the Benin Empire. His story is a testament to the resilience, intelligence, and power of African leadership. Let's get it, man. So Awari the Great lived during the 15th century and left an undeniable mark on the region. He was a brilliant strategist, a visionary ruler, and a true warrior at heart. So let's go ahead and start to how he became this amazing leader of West Africa. His father, Oba Azula, had ruled Benin, or Benin with strength and wisdom before passing away. As a warrior assumed power, he faced numerous challenges from rival city-states and internal dissensions, but he possessed an unwavering determination to unite his people and expand the influence of Benin. Awari recognized the importance of alliances, both within and outside of Benin. He sought to establish diplomatic relationships with neighboring kingdoms, which helped to secure his position and protect his people. Through these alliances, Awara built a formidable army equipped with advanced weapons and well-structured military. One of Awara's most significant accomplishments was his administrative reforms. He introduced a centralized system of governance, dividing his empire into administrative districts and appointing capable officials to oversee them. Hey, that's called delegating, man. He figured, hey, the best way to do it is to have more than one person running this part and this part, and he can oversee the whole thing. Love it. This allowed for efficient tax collection, trade regulations, and the enforcement of law and order. Arari was also a patron of the arts and sciences. He encouraged the growth of intellectual pursuits, such as the study of history, religion, and medicine. His court became a hub of cultural exchange, attracting artists, scholars, and traders from all over Africa and beyond. Sounds a lot like Ptolemy, right? Awari led his army to conquer neighboring territories and expand the borders of the Benin Empire. Awari's military campaigns were characterized by strategic brilliance and tactical superiority. His victories brought wealth, resources, and tribute to Benin, elevating the empire to new heights of prosperity and power. But Awari's legacy extends way beyond his military conquests. He was also deeply committed to justice and fairness. He established a judicial system that ensured the fair treatment of his subjects, regardless of their social status. And that's just dope, man, because a lot of monarchs and stuff, they were like dictators to their people. But, you know, they kept it fair. And regardless of your social status, like I just mentioned, you was going to get the same treatment, man. And that's how it should be everywhere. Arari was also known for his wisdom in resolving disputes and his strict adherence to the rule of law. Awari's reign lasted for several decades, during which he transformed Benin into a thriving empire renowned for its cultural, political, and economic achievements. His legacy continues to inspire generations of Africans and serves as a testament to the greatness that lies within our history. Awari the Great, y'all, the warrior king of Benin, left a permanent mark on the African continent. His visionary leadership, military prowess, and commitment to justice made him a true example of the melanin warrior spirit. So y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. I shake. Let's go.